What's up, guys? I'm Jim with Marsupial Gear. We're here at Phoenix, Arizona at Cowtown Shooting Range with our good friend Luke at Arrowhead Rifles. We got 10 chronographs out here. Gonna show you how they work. Uh, Luke's been using them for four or five months now. They're awesome. I guess the joke we we're making is we, we we use 10 to really dial in our velocity when we test fire rifles. That's that's not the case. We were just curious to see how consistent they were across 10 units. Uh, we've we've seen great performance out of one unit, so let's uh, find out how 10 do. Yep, they're super easy to use. We're going to show you how they work, the interface on them, how to set them up, and shoot some rounds down range. Yep. All right, before we get to shooting, we're going to run through the setup quick. Super easy. Hit the power button. Uh, new session. So, you know, rifle, pistol, bowl, air rifle. We're shooting rifles today. Select your velocity range. I'd ask if you want to put in your bullet weight to get an energy. We, we don't, we're not worried about that today, so we'll skip it. And then it shows a diagram uh, where to position it, 5 to 15 inches from the side, and then uh, 5 to 15 inches from the muzzle, below the muzzle center line. Hit OK and point it downrange, and we're ready to shoot. Uh, I don't like entering the bullet weight and seeing the diagram every time because I use this frequently. So we'll, we'll back out of this, end the session run into settings, then under pro settings, you can turn that off. So we'll turn that off, that off. Uh, the other thing in settings is the connectivity to where you compare it to your phone using the Garmin Shot View app. Uh, it takes about 30 seconds to link that. You can download your shot strings and CSVs and analyze your data that way. So we'll back out. It, whoops, not that button, there we go. Rifle, velocity range, didn't ask us for the weight or show us the diagram and we're ready to start recording on it. All right guys, so we got 10 chronographs set up, shooting a 6.5 PRC, 640 yards. We're gonna shoot two rounds, show you the velocity on all 10 chronographs. All right, so let's send the first shot down range. All right, so first shot, all chronographs read it. Um, if we go through the velocities, the first one's 29.12, second one 29.13, 5, 13, 13.1, 14, 4. We got 13.4, 11.9, 12.9, 14.3, and 14.5. So they're all within about one and a half uh, feet per second. Shows the first shot. So let's shoot a second shot and show you the velocity of the second shot. All right, so apparently I've been wearing my headset half the video, so sorry about that. Um, we shot second round, and all the chronographs read that. And so the speeds, we got these ones are 2880, we got 81, 82, 82, 797, 82, 94, so that's a bit of an outlier, um, 82, 83, and 81. So super consistent across the board. There is that one chronograph that has a 10 feet per second spread, so... Um, slight variance on just that one, but overall extremely consistent with the readings. All right, it's my turn on the trigger. Uh, I'm gonna show Jim how it's done with his gun, see if we can't lay down three in quick succession and just show you picking, uh, show the chronographs picking up all three. Let's get to it. All right, so laid down three. I'm just gonna look at the averages here. 2907 average, uh, 2907, 07, 07, 06, 07. Uh, the average on number two is 2816, so it's 100 feet per second slower. I don't know if that, that unit's picking up interference. It's one that read a little bit out for Jim too. Uh, so average is 2907 again, 08 uh, and 08. So, Across all of them, the averages come out, I think, within, uh, it's a two feet per second range. So super consistent uh, with that one outlier. All right, guys, so you saw I shot a couple rounds, Luke shot a couple rounds, um, chronographs, 10 of them at once, pretty much performed flawlessly, super consistent. Um, yeah, they're awesome unit, easy to set up. I mean, if, if you're in the long range shooting, you really need a chronograph and this this is a total game changer, changer compared to what was on the market before. Yeah, coming, we've used a couple different chronographs in the past. For someone like me who's not obviously doing it as much as Luke, this one is infinitely more easy to use. Yeah, even um, as a gun company, I found myself not bringing a chronograph just because they're a pain to set up with this. We 
every shot we test fire, we're running the chronograph. Yeah. With I can it hand now. it to someone on the first bat and they'll set it up perfectly each yeah. time. So. so I think, I, well, I said we've been running them for five months. I think we've had two shots in five months, not read. And both times it was just because the unit wasn't either pointed quite right or it was it, there was something obstructing it. But that we're talking hundreds of shots. Yeah. We're getting a reading every time. So super simple to set up, simple, super e easy to use, um, super accurate. It's just a winner all around. So, yeah. so. we have them both on our website. Yeah. Choose a you want to buy from. Well, I don't think you hear that. that. <laughs> <laughs> but check them out, both websites.